In today's video, we'll take a look at how to use global variables in a multi-file project. Okay, so if you haven't checked the previous videos on uh, declaration and definition, please check them out. The link is up top to the one about uh, defining and declaring variables um, because it is very much linked to this topic. Okay, now suppose that in our project we have these two files, we have main and main2.c and um, we want to basically use a variable that is shared between those two files, basically a global variable. How do we actually do that in C? Well, to start off, I guess, just define the variable that we want to use somewhere, let's say in the main file. So now start with index in here, right? And let's say I initialize it to something, let's say x, x equals 100 and I can print f printf for sandy backslash and x and that's perfectly fine now uh, let's say i want this x to be accessed in this function here that i have in the main two file well certainly i cannot simply just uh, say x let's say let's assign the value 150 in this file and then print it to the screen the new new value of x is for sandy backslash and i'll say x of course you can see that if I try to do something, even the IDE give me, gives me an error saying that X is not defined, which makes sense because for the compiler in this file, it couldn't find X. So what's the solution to that? The solution is of course to, de to declare the X variable, but not define it. So in this case, I could simply do something like extern int X, and now I wouldn't get this error anymore. Okay, perfectly fine. And suppose that I also want to call this uh, do something function. And to call it, I can add it here inside this main, but now for this main.c file, uh, the do something function doesn't actually exist. So we would also need to declare it as we did in the previous uh, video. And to declare it, we simply uh, paste the signature here and it should be fine as long as we compile both of the files in the same compilation unit into the same executable so now i can simply say gcc main.c main2.c dash o main okay so uh, if i try to launch this i'm gonna get a simple warning saying that i forgot stdio.h so let's paste it here because in this file printf is yet not defined so i'm gonna first do this and now let's clear the screen and try to compile it again. And okay, that works perfectly fine. If I say main, we get the message 100, that is from the main function, and then we get a new value of x is 150. So if just you wanted to share one variable in a simple multi-file project, then you're basically done. You can use this, it's perfectly fine. The problems arise when you want to actually share multiple variables. If you want to actually share multiple variables, for example, we have here an int y and we want to also share this with uh, main2.c well again we're gonna have to declare it so every time we change something here in the main file where the global variables reside in we're gonna have to change something in each file that makes use of it and this kind of gets compounded if we have multiple files that uses these variables so let's say we have main3.c and actually i can just copy and paste i suppose we have this and i'm gonna save it as main main3.c right and let's say we change the name of this function you're gonna have to do this extern int x and int y again for that file as well so this is a bit tedious like why would you do that can we can we do something better now the easiest solution to all this is to actually move these extern uh, lines basically the declarations of all these global variables to a uh, file now, this can be a simple uh, C file, but because it only has declarations, we call that a header file. That's why we have a global.h file here that I have created. I'm gonna use, uh, and I'm gonna move all these declarations here. And of course, in, it, in their place, I'm going to change this to an include. And it's important here that you use double quotes in, instead of the angled brackets, because it is a local file. Let's say global.h. Okay, I don't need a semicolon. 
and I can do the same for main2.c, exactly the same idea, and now I have the declarations in just one place and the definitions in another. Right now it's in the main file. If I try to compile this and I say gcc, well, I'm going to compile all the main files that we have here, 1, 2, and 3, inside one file. You're going to notice that it actually does work, and if I try to launch it, of course, it's going to work properly. And, well, you might ask, why didn't I compile the global.h file? That's because global.h is actually included in each of the main uh, files here, or at least main2 and main3.c. Okay, so you don't have to do this. Uh, many times. Now, this is the second way you can actually have global variables with a global.h and have the definitions of the variables inside the main file, let's say. Okay, that's fine. And as you can see now, if I try to add another variable, let's say, let's say int z, well, I just have to add it here and say extern int z, and then all the other files will have access to it, and I can say z, I don't know, equals to... 15, here I can say z equals 10, it doesn't really matter, I'm not going to even execute this code, it, it really doesn't matter, what matters is that if I, let's say, clear the terminal here and compile it, it's going to actually work, and that's really everything that we need to know, if it compiles, then it probably most likely runs. Okay, now the last improvement that I would do to this setup is to create another C file, in which we have the definitions of the global variables and that uh, C file we can call global.c and I have created here a global.c file uh, in which I'm just going to copy and paste the, de the definitions of the global variables that we had in main and of course in their place now the main file doesn't know about the x variable, right? So we have to treat it the same as we did with the main2 and main3. So I'm going to have to copy and paste the global.h include over here. Now, if I try to compile it, let's clear the screen and compile it, you'll notice I get undefined references. That is just because I need to also add to the compilation this global.c file. Right, this is nowhere included. We're only including the header file. The C doesn't know, uh, like it. C files and header files are not really treated any differently in the compiler's eyes. So this global.c here, we're not making use of it. Right, we're just compiling main.c, main2.c, and main3.c, and in in all the files we're including global.h, but global.c is not added and we need to add it here to the compilation unit. I'm going to say global.c, and now if I try to compile it and, of course, run it, it's going to work perfectly fine. So this is the setup that you have to have when you want to have global variables that are shared across uh, multiple files in a project. It's, I think, the best way, and it uh, doesn't allow you to make the mistake of redefining a variable. That's about it for this video. I hope you learned something and if you do have any questions, leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Of course, the source code for all this will be found on our website, link in the description below. Take care. Bye.